Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's another video about Android 13 Beta 2. I spotted even more features I wanted to share with you but before getting started let me remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming videos and now let's jump in. I will start with the animations and the more I use Beta 2 the more animations I spot and if you remember in my previous video I showed you a new animation in the settings app when you tap on any page and then go back it will slide from the side and then back again. And this new behavior seems to be a part of the whole operating system and even the third party apps. So for example, when I go to messaging and then tap on any conversation, as you see, the same animation happens, but this is not the case here on beta one. So here's the same messages app. And as you see, the animation is different. This also applies to third party apps, like for example, WhatsApp and Telegram, even Facebook implements this new animation. So it's not only part of the settings app. I also noticed a new locking animation if you have the always on display activated and then use the power button to lock the device. You won't notice this new animation if you are in a well lit environment, but let me show you how it looks in a very dark room. So here's a video I recorded for my 6 Pro in a very dark room and as you see the phone is already locked and then I'm gonna press on the power button and this what happens as you see the always on display flashed briefly but if I did the same thing while already on the lock screen nothing happens. Now let's talk about the notifications shade and the quick settings area. I will start with something I missed in my previous video. Now when you tap and hold on the media controls, you will see different options and also different animation. So for example, here is beta one on the right. And as you see the difference here, the dismiss button has been replaced with hide. The cancel button is still there, but the settings button is now located at the top right corner. You will also notice a blur effect on the album art to better see the text. So let me try to tap and hold on both at the same time to show you the different animation. Here is beta one, there is no animation whatsoever, but in beta two, when you tap and hold, the album art will be minimized and then shifted towards the top, in addition to the blur effect I showed you already. The second change is the QR code scanner tile is now available on my 6 Pro. Last time I showed you it was unavailable, but after a couple of restarts, now it works just fine. And after installing beta 2, I started to see a lot of notifications about app is draining battery. As you see here, I have one of them in the notifications history because I don't have one active right now. And it says Gboard is running in the background, tap to manage battery usage, and it comes under Android system notifications. I saw the same thing uh, for apps like Twitter and Facebook. And now it's time for today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by cdkeyoffers.com. It's an online digital store that sells original Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount and instead of the regular 20%. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is insanely cheap. And the purchase process is very simple. Just click on buy now, choose your preferred payment method. In my case, I will choose PayPal. Sign in with your PayPal account and click on pay now. After successfully paying, click on return to merchant to continue your order. And now the payment is done and the order number is showing on the screen. After a few seconds, the website will redirect you to the purchases page. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, under the system page, scroll all the way down and click on about. Then product key and the activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code you just copied here, click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. And if you are interested in Microsoft Office, you can get the full 2019 Professional Plus package for $45.82 after discount using the same promo code ID20. Please check the links in the description below and now let's get back to the review. Now let me show you some random tweaks I spotted and the first one is in the battery widget. After connecting my phone to my car's Bluetooth, it showed up in the battery widget without any battery information and the tapping on it will take you straight away to the Bluetooth settings for this device. I didn't see this before, this is the first time and I saw it only after installing Android 13 Beta 2. The second change is the removal of charging rapidly text from the lock screen if your phone is connected to a fast charger. So for example, here is a fast charger I always use and I used to get the word charging rapidly here on my lock screen, but this is no longer the case, it's only saying charging. Next, the settings. Now when you go to settings and then battery and then battery saver and then set a schedule 
As you see here, I have the based on percentage option, but now the minimum threshold you can set is 10% instead of five like before. The second change under apps and then a special app access, when you scroll all the way down, you will see a new option here called turn screen on. By this, you can allow certain apps to turn on the device screen. Lastly, there are three new toggles under developer options and the first one is called allow mock modem. The description says allow this device to run mock modem service for instrumentation testing. Do not enable this during normal usage of the phone. I'm not a developer to know exactly what it does, but if you are, that might be helpful for you. The second option will allow you to limit the download speed. As you see here, it says network download rate limit, and you can choose between all these options from 128 kilobit per second up to 15 megabit per second. The last one is called disable Bluetooth low energy audio hardware offload, but unfortunately the toggle is not available. Now let's talk about some of the changes we might see in Android 13 in the future. And my source is the Google News channel on Telegram that I'm going to leave its link in the description if you want to join. The first change is the new unlock animation. As you see, the apps will move out towards you when you unlock the device. And that's also the case for older Pixel models like the Pixel 5. Android 13 might unify the security and the privacy pages into one page. And this is how it looks. The next feature is called predictive bag gesture. This feature will allow you to know what the result of your bag gesture before you complete the action. So for example, if you are in Google Chrome and then swipe to the side, as you see, it will show you a quick preview from your home screen to let you know that this action will take you back home. So at this point, you can decide if you want to go back home or stay on the current view. And that could be useful in scenarios like swiping one of the emails in gmail sometimes you might swipe from the edge which will take you back home so with this feature you will be able to tell your swipe will take you home or simply delete the app now let me show you the improvements i noticed after installing android 13 beta 2 on my 6 pro you might see the same improvements on older pixel models you might not so i'm not 100 sure because i only tested this build on the 6 pro the first improvement is the faster camera access when you double press the power button. So on the 6 Pro, it's now much faster compared to the previous versions. The second improvement is the faster fingerprint performance. Now it takes about half the time to unlock the device, which is something a lot of people are waiting for. The third improvement is in the battery usage. Now the mobile network only takes 2%, which is the first time I see it on my 6 Pro. It usually takes more than 20%. And after installing QPR3 Beta 3, it went down to about 19 or 18%. But after installing Android 13 Beta 2, now it takes only 2%, which is a huge improvement for the battery life of the 6 Pro. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features I wanted to show you today. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted even more features. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.